Memory An animated 360 poem by Allegraphy Remember that in every picture of us there were millions of photons bouncing of our faces captured by a silicon chip inside a camera then stored in another silicon chip as binary codes eventually to be decoded by yet another chip for us to see this picture this last chip with the help of several other chips and diodes replicates previously captured photons that were bouncing off our faces that day. Today, these photon replicas are knocking on the retina's door inside my eye after they have been shown the way in through my eye's lenses. The rods and cones in my eye ask, who is there? The frequency at which these photon replicas vibrate to respond provoke rods and cones that have the nerve to transmit the photon's unintelligible message to my brain. My rods and cones question, that is as well mine remains unanswered until my brain finishes processing the image and responds I am a neuronal pathway that was formed when you were taking pictures of yourself and this person on that day blah 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 right before my serotonin dopamine oxytocin and GABA neurotransmitters fire and I get overly excited. Another part of my brain attempts to calm me down, reminding me that this image is from my past that is dissociated from my present. Conversely, other parts of my brain bring back memories of this person's perfumes, images, situations, emotions, fights, and the plethora of related neuronal pathways that were formed when we were together. The voice of your laughter hits me in the face when the receptionists at the hair cell saloon in my ears receive no signal to dance. Am I dreaming? Am I hallucinating? Have I become an arena for a bunch of drunk, excited and angry neurotransmitters that were trained during the reign of your empire of nostalgic sense and mesmerizing presence? Your body odor after all the olfactory bureaucracies it had to go through, must have allied with the general secretary of my immune system, who believed that our eventual offspring, if he or she were to see the light, would become immune to many life-threatening diseases and would live happily ever after. Your face, your eyes, your lips, your hips were able to convince the guardian of my genes, my selfish genes, that we can mix for a greater good 
that I honestly ignore. My eyes might have met yours back when I was five, but I forgot. In an infant's mind, it is quite easy to trigger euphoria and the sense of acceptance with just a reckless smile. Conditional learning at its best, I'd say. But where was the scientist back then? Where was my awareness and curiosity? The few neurons that remained faithfully connected all these years in memory of your eyes and whatever remains of their context. I blame them not for having us united and separated over and over since we will meet again and get separated hundred times again and again we shall meet in the eyes and perfumes of the multitude of this collective being that is determined by a consequential exposure of our senses to stimuli. A gang of neurotransmitters with hidden agendas and the fake notion of free will making us believe that we have a choice.